In this lesson, we will look at how data center traffic engineering through customized topologies and special mechanisms for load balance can help reduce link utilization, reduce the number of hops to reach the edge of the data center, and make the data center network easier to maintain. We saw in the last lesson how existing data center topologies provide extremely limited server-to-server -server capacity because of the oversubscription of the links at the top of the hierarchy. Additionally, as services continue to be migrated to different parts of the data center, resources can be fragmented, significantly lowering utilization. For example, if the service denoted by green is running mostly in one part of the data center, but there's a little bit of it running on a virtual machine in another part of the data center, this might require traffic to traverse links of the data center topology hierarchy, thus significantly lowering utilization and cost efficiency. Reducing this type of fragmentation can result in complicated layer two or layer three routing reconfiguration. What we'd like to have is just the abstraction of one large layer two switch. This is the abstraction that VL2 provides. So VL2 has two main objectives. One is to achieve layer two semantics across the entire data center topology. This is done with a name location separation and a resolution service that resembles the fabric manager which we talked about in the last lesson and which is described in more detail in the paper. To achieve uniform high capacity between the servers and balance load across links in the topology, VL2 relies on flow-based random traffic indirection using valiant load balancing. Let's take a closer look at how that load balancing works. 